Okay, so for today's craft, we're gonna be customizing two sweatshirts. And I made my kids Christmas PJs this year. So I made the shorts, I sewed it out of this material from Walmart, this flannel material. And I just bought two sweatshirts, two black sweatshirts to go along with it for the top. And my plan was to like put like a Christmassy, you know, fun saying on the front. But you know, the holidays, I didn't get around to doing it. So now, since it's after Christmas, I'm just gonna do like a, a brother theme. And I have a graphic in mind. I'll show you when we go to the computer. But the, sorry, the PJs are actually in the washing machine right now because they just wore them last night. They actually really love it. This flannel material is really soft and just gets softer, you know, as you wear it. And the sweatshirts from Walmart are actually really good like they're not really thick and fleecy which is perfect for hawaii weather and so it's comfortable enough for them to wear it at night even here so this is the merry maid matte heat transfer vinyl bundle and i took it out of the plastic just to minimize the crunching sound but it comes with a mat which is amazing because you know we all need a new mat and a teflon sheet which is like so helpful especially for beginners like i've been i was using parchment paper for the longest time thinking it was okay and then i tried a teflon sheet and it's just so much better so that's super awesome especially for just starting out and also it has very clear instructions with a guide and everything how to wash it and you know just really spells it out for you which is you know very beginner friendly so I really like that. And the vinyl, there's 20 sheets of vinyl. And these are 12 by 10 sheets. So it comes with a little card, um, I guess with all their company info. And the colors are amazing. Gold, silver. There's two blacks, two whites. And then all these colors. So one sheet of each. So pretty. Gray and brown is the last one. But yeah, so the shorts that I made are black and red, and the sweatshirt is black. And sorry, it is in the wash, so I can't show you right now, but. I think I'm going to use, like if I had two reds, I would do that. But I think I will use the whites. Yeah, I think that'll be good. This with black shirt and the white. But yeah, these feel really good quality. Um, they're not like super thick. Like the thickest one I have is Cricut Glitter HTV and that's super thick. And the thinnest I have is Caesar Easy Weed. It's like a it's in the middle of that but yeah so i think i will take you to cook a design space and show you the design i picked and how i'm cutting it out um and after that we'll come back and put it on the sweatshirt so here we are in cricut design space and i'm gonna search for brothers make the best friends sgv free in google and this is the one i liked so i clicked on it and it's from a site called Suncatcher Studio. Um, it is a free download. So I'm gonna download the SVG format and I'll link this site down below. Okay, and then it's saved to my desktop. So now I'm gonna click upload and drag the file here. And I'll just click continue. And I'll just rename this brothers and upload. Okay, so I'm just gonna click it and then add it to canvas. So now I'm going to duplicate it. And then using the right hand column, I'm gonna look for the arrow. And I'm just gonna go ahead and flip it horizontally so that when they're standing by each other, you know, the arrows can be pointing together. And I'm gonna select all and attach for both. And then one of them, I'm gonna make 10 inches wide and the other one I'm going to make eight inches wide for my younger son. 
And in hindsight, I really should have checked the script font for Brothers and Best. It did come out with like cuts in it, you know, if you don't weld it. So if you're following along with this, make sure you, before attaching, make sure the font is welded. But other than that, now we can make it. And don't forget to mirror for both mats. I always like to do this first. And the mats look good. It'll fit on my 12 by 10 sheet. And for my base material, I'm going to choose matte vinyl. I think that should work. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. So I'm going to go ahead and try out this Merry Maid cutting mat. And I'm cutting the largest one out first, which is 10 inches wide. So I'm going to turn my sheet um, I guess horizontal. It's only 10 inches wide, but I still want to make sure the whole design gets cut out well. And I'm just going to use my brayer to flatten it out. So making sure the si shiny side is down, I'm going to insert it and start cutting. So once it's done cutting, before I remove the mat, I'm going to take a little piece off to make sure that it cut all the way through. If it didn't, you can always press the cut button again and it'll recut on the very exact same lines. But if you remove it, then you can't really do anything. So it looks good. So I'm going to remove it and peel the mat back from the vinyl. And now I'm going to go ahead and cut out the other design. So here's the larger design that I already weeded. And then what I was saying before about the welding is it, it'll be really, really hard to see. But if you can see right there, all the letters cut out individually. And that's just, you know, my fault for not checking. But the one way to fix this, and this happens with a lot of um, script letters, it's so that you can move it around, you know, and connect it however you want. But you just need to weld it. So I would weld it and then attach it again. No biggie though. I mean, it's just going to be on like a sweatshirt, so it's fine. And I was going to weed this on camera just to show you how easy it weeded because this one was really easy. And then I noticed there is a long cut mark all the way down the vinyl that was there before, I guess, because the Cricut didn't do that. Um, so that's kind of disappointing, but you know, I'm not going to complain about it since this was free. But yeah, some things to watch for. And I'm sure if you contacted their customer service, they'd be really, you know, good at communicating because all my correspondence with them has been really good. So I wouldn't doubt that they would just replace it. So yeah, but if you can see here, it, there's a cut through the letters and then through the design. You know, it is for sleepwear, so I'm not mad about it. It's fine. If I bought the whole pack, I would probably like write to them or something. Um, and I don't think I mentioned it before, but if you bought this exact same bundle on Amazon, it's about $28, less than 30 for sure. And I think their larger rolls of vinyl were actually really cheap. Like if you just got one color, And that's how I usually buy my vinyl. I get, I get like anxiety when I only have like one sheet of each thing. I, I don't know. I think I'm going to run out or something crazy like that. Yeah, so it weeds really nicely. It's just that there's that cut through the design. In general, I like to weed. If I'm doing a big design like this, I do like to weed it on the sticky mat. Because like having a like a third hand just holding it down for you. But I wanted to do it up here so I could video it. Yeah, even on these like really thin designs, it worked really well. And was easy to weed. Some people like to get like all the little pieces first. Um, 
I don't know. I like to do the whole thing and then do the little inside piece first. I have this light board. Where's the button? Sometimes it's easier to weed on here. Okay, and this is not the Cricut light board or anything. This is like one of my kids tracing light boards. But yeah, so just look at it from the front and double check that you got every little piece. And that they look alike too, you know, because sometimes you miss like a little part in like the B or something, you know. Okay, so I think we're ready. So I have my Cricut Easy Press warming up. So if I look on the directions, I'm using matte and the temperature should be about 260 to 280. I guess I'll do like 270. So I'll just adjust the temperature. Maybe I'll go 280, let's do the hottest. And it says to, let's see, press for 30 seconds. So the instructions again are very clear. It says, um, the easy press or regular irons to use 30 seconds and it has instructions for the Cricut and the silhouette so here are the sweaters and the shorts that i made so the shorts are you know just this material and these are the walmart sweatshirts and if you can tell it's like not super black it's a slightly faded um but it's okay. I mean, for the price and what I'm using it for, it's totally fine. They had other colors that probably were not faded. Yeah. So this is the larger one. I'm just going to use a lint roller and just, you know, remove all the lint. Okay. So it's been a while since I made a shirt. But... What you're going to want to do is grab it by the ends and shake it out so that it's as even as you can make it and try to, you know, flatten it out. And then we do need to preheat it. So this is a smaller shirt. It is a size eight medium. So I'm just going to hold it on here for about 10 seconds. Then I'm going to fold it in half so we can get the middle of the sweatshirt. Hopefully the crease shows because it's a sweatshirt. <laughs> so matching up the seams. Okay, so I can see the seam. It has a kind of a, a mark right now. Okay, and just make sure it's not folded on the back side. Make sure it's smooth. So I'm gonna get the smaller of the designs and I'm just gonna place it like a couple inches from the bottom. You can also fold it in half. You can just like kind of pinch the top and the bottom. So you have a little line here and then align it with the crease. I don't think you can see the whole sweatshirt, but it's a small sweatshirt, so I kind of want it closer to the top. So that looks good. So I'm going to get the Teflon sheet, put it over, and then I'm going to press with firm pressure or hard pressure for 30 seconds. Okay, I'm just going to let it cool for a second. It is a warm peel. Removing the mat underneath helps it cool down a little bit faster. Okay, yeah, it, it'll peel off easily. I'm just gonna let this cool on the side and do the larger sweater. So I'm gonna preheat it for about 10 seconds and then find the center and make a crease. Okay, the crease is very light, but it's right down there. Okay, so make 
make sure my mat is right under the middle and there's no folds. I'm going to fold my design in half and crease the ends and place it right along the crease or the iron line. So this one, I might have to do in like, kind of like four sections, because it's bigger. Okay, so while this one's cooling, I'm going to remove the carrier sheet from the first one. Okay, so like right here, I noticed it didn't stick on. So we're going to redo this one. Also, it's set to do a warm peel. I let that one cool a little bit too long. Let's try this. Okay, yeah, this one did a lot better. I did do it longer too, but I think the warm peel matters because it's pretty stuck on the carrier sheet on the other one. Okay, so I'm gonna repress the other one. So I think I'll do 30 seconds again. Make sure there's no folds underneath. Okay, so that's warm still. Just gonna peel it off. Yeah, it definitely peels off better with it warm. Okay, so yeah, that looks super good. It's nice and like soft or like really into the fabric. And that's what I like about the matte vinyl. It looks more like it could be screen printed versus a glossy. And you actually can't even tell that I didn't weld letters now that it's on there. But yeah, so that looks so good. I'll insert a photo of the kids wearing it with their shorts. I guess when they come home and take a shower. But yeah, so I guess I'll also let you know in the comments or the description after I wash it again, how the Merry Maid um, vinyl holds up. And so far, I'm really liking it. But yeah, I'll let you know in a couple weeks, I guess. But yeah, thanks for watching and please subscribe and I'll see you in my next video.